Hey, what's up, bosses? It's Latana. I'm back with another video. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, glad to see you back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to level up your design game just working with simple fonts and taking a boring design like this one and turning it into something really cool like this. Yep. So we're going to take something simple like this, turn it into something that people will really want this is okay don't get me wrong this is okay but it's boring and today i've got my patterns on and i want to do something cool so let's jump straight up into the video Trying to get your teacher business started, but you really don't know where to turn. Well, I'm Latana Robinson, the Lady Print Boss. I teach people how to boss up and how to grow their business, make six figures. If you don't believe me, then go ahead and Google me, honey. If you're ready to boss up, make sure that you subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. So and we're over in the desktop. And because Sunday is Mother's Day, I just said, okay, bless mom. And maybe I'll say bless mama. Or something like that you know um, pretty much up to you but just take something simple a simple font so what we have here is we have two simple fonts when I'm designing um, I like to take cursive fonts and mix those with bolder fonts so you can take a cursive font and a, a sans sheriff or a sheriff's font and mix that with a cursive font but you want to mix something that's nice and thick with something that's a little bit thinner and that way you have a lot of contrast with your font so we just have two simple fonts we're going to make this quick and easy i have um i have a pattern here that i use uh when i'm doing sometimes i do cups and mugs and so i have a couple of patterns here over to the side and this is grouped right now so what we're going to do for this job we're just going to go ahead i'm going to downsize and i'm going to move these wordings over and we're just going to take the font and i'm just wanting to size it right now and so what i'm going to do is just kind of raise this in and out and just show you some different ways things that we can do here just kind of size that a little bit more okay now let's just make that fit to the page here we go okay so it looks like we would need to adjust this because what i want to do is the first thing well we're going to make a duplicate of this because we do want to duplicate that and let's go ahead and duplicate this so that we have all of this extra stuff over to the side so as we are working when we do things we can switch things up so i'm just going to ungroup here um, ungroup these objects because they are all grouped together and we don't need them grouped together so i'm just going to ungroup them and making sure that they are all ungrouped okay so the first thing we're going to do is we have this here and I want to just bring it down because what I want to do is I want to put this in the center of my mom, right? So I'm going to grab the two of these and go up here to object and I'm just going to align it here. That way I know that that's in the center. And then I'm just going to take this lettering and I'm going to pop it in and it really doesn't have to be in any particular way because this is just going to be kind of like my top and bottom. Um, let's go here and order that to the front and then order this to the front. 
So this is just going to kind of be the design what I want, right? So I'm going to take this. I'm going to move this out the way for a minute because I'm going to just grab all of this and I want to align it all, kind of center it all up. And now I'm going to group it together. And then I'll take these two and grab it and I'll hit P and that should bring it all back to center. Now what I'm going to do is I want this mom, I want to go in and I want to put this font, this pattern inside of the letters. And if I go here and I just go to power clip and I hit place inside, it's going to tell me the object is invalid. And that in and I need to take this text and make it into a curve. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to convert it to a curve. And now I'm going to select this object behind there and I'm going to go object and I'll go power clip, place it inside the frame. And now I have placed that inside of that frame. And so I kind of got a design there. Uh, from there, I could take this wording and just pop it on here. Object um where did it go where did it go y'all where did it go let me take this here and bring it to the front order it to the front of the page and we can just pop it there and now we have a totally different look now if i want to take that a bit further i would was me object group ungroup and take something like this here and I may want to do something with this blessed and I could take it here and I can put this wording inside of here and my stones now as you stretch out this um, I think I double clicked it and it may open up another program by mistake which is not what I was trying to do so there if I can take this as you stretch it out this is going to change the way that this looks see those are really small and this one is bigger so I can take this and you got it I got to go here and I've got to convert it to curves and now I can take this and I can, and now we finally got that how we want it to be. And we can just pop that there. And now we have our blessed mom. And let's take a look at what it turned out like. So that's it. Um, me, I would like to do something a little bit different with that because I feel like this needs a contour around it. And I'm not sure that you can put a contour um, on this after you have power clipped it, but I guess you can. So I'm going to put that power clip on there and on this power clip it looks a little weird right here let me just kind of bring that down some because it's looking a little bit weird where the corners are let's just hit around the corners and see if that takes all of that nonsense that was there off of there um, and so now we have this power clip and we would probably want to do something with the colors of the power clip here. Notice that purple and whatnot. And you could try to do it in here, but I don't get a good result from this normally. My normal result that I get is normally going to be when I go to objects and I break it apart. 
and then once I break it apart you have a whole nother outline here and then you can ungroup this outline also so I'm just going to break it apart and then I'm going to hit object and I would ungroup that also so now I would have actually two different outlines here and let's see we got one there one here and we can tell down off in here as we go in and touch it I like to touch it and then I'll move it back so I can now play around with these colors and see if what I like you know see okay well I like this I don't like that and kind of from there so this I am pretty happy with let's go back to it so I'm pretty happy with that I like that and we're just going to take it and I'm going to group it control G and now I can set it over to the side that's one design that we've completed so so we've got our blessed mom there and i don't think i want that on a t-shirt y'all i think i want that on a t-shirt um so there's our blessed mom let's do something with uh let's see here i love sunflowers so let's go in and let's pull up in something that i have over on the desktop i have something with the sunflower on it i do believe now stripes work really well with this type of thing um so this is just something i pulled off of pinterest this type of pattern works really well with fonts really really well and um let's just take this and put this over here and do something with this because this type of font works really really well y'all with um works really really well so we'll take it and we will order it to the back some reason that did not work for me okay so we're just going to take it and we're going to what we're going to do with this is go ahead and power clip it inside of of course we've got to convert this from being uh converted back over to curves and now we're going to take this background and we can position it how we want i'm going to take this m and i'm going to make it not have any color right there and then i'm just gonna right click and make that black so that i can that will give me the ability to get my sunflowers in where i want them to be so you can position it how you want it to be and then select the background image and object and we can place it inside of the power clip now how cool is that and then now that we have that we can say whatever we want to say you can say football mom bless mom uh cheer mom whatever you want to say um on there you know um you can say it now so we have our font here and we may use the same fun or we might switch it up some and we're definitely going to need a outline on it at least an outline on this font you know what and i i like that but we we would have to make this really really big um or we'd have to go in and put We'd probably have to go in and put a contour on this font um, and by contour let me go back 
and show you guys. So this is the font. This little button here is the contour tool. So you would put a outside contour. I use contours a lot, a whole, whole lot. Um, we're going to just push this contour up and we're going to push it down to one. And because we only want one outline and then we can push this up where we want it to be and so what's happening is the contour is actually getting so that contour is actually just has gotten very large now and I can put that here in front of the mom and of course that contour I, I went a little crazy with it so now that I'm here in front of the wording I'll take it back down so because now I can actually see it. Go here and we will hit break apart the contour. And what I would do is I would take this purple color and maybe make that black. And then on the inside here, let's try for like a yellow or green. I ended up picking green and that green looks fine. Um, and then from there, you know, it's just about centering this. And... You've got a whole nother type of design. You could go, you know, you could do, um, I was looking for a yellow. Well, let's see. Clicked on the wrong thing. So I was trying to click the green. You could do a yellow. And that would be really, really nice. So it's a lot of different stuff that you can do. Just, you know, playing with colors. Um, when you are designing, it will take your, it will take just a plain Jane font like this, what we have here. I will just take something plain and add some flair to it and just make it stand out and pop. Um, so we've got those two. And... I like them, so I'm going to keep them and save them into 